Hey, how's it going, everybody? In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to be creating this animation. Come on, let's do this. Let's start making this. Let's, let's do this. <clears throat> okay. So let's open up Adobe Illustrator and create this shape with the pen tool. You can hold shift to create straight lines with the pen tool. Once that's done, let's go and select the uh, point selection tool and select all the points and just click on this and drag to create this nice curvy lines. Now we need to take this shape into Adobe After Effects. You can just save the file and then open in After Effects, but the uh, but I like to use this neat little plugin called, um, uh, I forgot the name, Overlord. So inside After Effects, let's create a new composition and let's go with 15 frames per second this time. Now let's just create a solid background and give it some color. Ooh, yellow, I love that color. And now it's time to bring that vector file into After Effects by using that script. Uh, what was it called? Uh, I forgot again. Now let's change the stroke color to something off-white because we might need to add some shading later. Increase the thickness of the stroke to something like 3 or 4. Okay, now let's toggle down the shape and add a repeater. Let's go into the transform property and change the exposition to something like 2, for example. Now let's increase the number of copies to something around 150. Add trim paths and set some keyframes. Phew, now we've got some animation like this. Note that these are linear keyframes and uh, let's keep them this way. Because up next, we're going to add some depth to this. You know, by adding some shades to the front and back. So it feels real. Let's separate these keyframes into three parts before doing that. You can use the page up and page down button to move one frame forward and backward. Move along the timeline to find that spot where you feel like the page is folding back and set a keyframe. Let's do the same thing for the first part. Right when you feel like the page is folding backwards, set a keyframe. So we're going to duplicate this. So now let's select the shape layer and press Ctrl D twice. So let me have a total of three layers. And let's rename them to the front, back, and the middle. Now let's press U on the keyboard to open up all animated keyframes. Now we're going to isolate these separate parts. To do that, let's go to the point selection tool, click and drag to select these points and hit delete. This leaves us with just the front part. Now let's do the same thing for the end section and the middle section of the paper. Just click and drag to delete those points to isolate. Let's do the same thing for the middle section. Now let's... <coughs> now let's delete some of these keyframes that do not belong to the front, back and mid section we have created. For example, we just need the first two keyframes on the back part. We can get rid of the first and last frame for the mid section. And let's get rid of the first two keyframes for the last section. I'm also making sure that these keyframes go all the way from 0 to 100 for each of these sections. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now if you play this back, we should have the exact same animation we had earlier. But we did separate the paper into sections. So let's go ahead and change the color of those sections. I'm just going to select this part, change the color to a little brighter shade of white. And then I'm going to select this part and make it a little darker shade. And once we're done, now let's Ctrl D to duplicate all three layers and place it above. I'm going to place this here and quickly change the shade to the same white color.
you can also do the same thing on these shapes as well. Now let's shift the duplicated layers to the right so the animation happens in one single flow. And we're done. The animation looks so cool with the linear keyframes, right? Now hold on a second, I know what you're thinking. How do I add easing on these keyframes? For that, my friends, let's select all the layers and pre-comp them. And now we're going to add time remapping. Set some keyframes, go into the graph editor and adjust those curves, baby. dozed off a little bit. Okay, where were we? Wow, I like it. Rotate it and then flip it and you're done. As some extra steps, you can add a bend effect. I'm just going to set some keyframes on the bend. Cool, very interesting. Mmm, I like it. This is so good. Now let's add some lines and call it a day. Let's set the track mat effect and we're done. Nice. I gotta run. And that's all the time I have for you today, everyone. Hit that like button and subscribe. Bye-bye. Come on, let's do this.